What's the deal, YouTube? This is Sam Mac Boxing TV, and I'm back again with another commentary to talk some more boxing with my people. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you can stay notified when I drop some more heat to the channel. All right, y'all. So it's official. February 22nd of 2020, the rematch is on. WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the undefeated bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder, will be making his 11th title defense against the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. And I'm just ready for this fight to go down because it, at this time, it's put up or shut up. And I'm really just ready to see Tyson Fury get knocked the hell out. Last time, he got knocked the hell out and dropped. Yes, Fury did outbox Deontay Wilder. I won't discredit him for that, but he was knocked the hell out. And then you have all of these Tyson Fury fans capping for this dude. And it really just amazes me how much trolling and just, just flat out just discrediting of Deontay Wilder comes from American fans. It's it, And it really just baffles me how much American fans will go and cheer for somebody else that's from a different country, but you won't go for your own countrymen. The brother has been undefeated. Ain't nobody beating him. He's 41-0-1 with 40 knockouts. I'm sorry, 42-0-1 with 41 knockouts. But people would rather go and cheer on for this cokehead Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury won the unified heavyweight WBA, IBF, and WBO titles from Vladimir Klitschko. He was stripped of these belts. Because he tested positive for cocaine. Let's not forget about that. Nobody ever wants to bring up that topic. But, oh, Tyson Fury is the best boxer. Um, He outboxed water for 10 rounds. And he's going to beat the big dosa. Uh, fuck all of that. Because every time that you bring up any of these mismatches that Tyson Fury has fought before the Wilder fight. And after the water fight, you get nothing but excuses from Tyson Fury fans. Oh, well, it's smart strategy. He was taking a tune-up. He wasn't in shape. But he was. He took two tune-ups two before he fought Deontay Wilder. And then he went 12 rounds with Wilder. So he wasn't in good enough shape then. And then he had to go and fight two more tune-ups after Wilder. And then he got his eye busted open in a second tune-up. So what So what other excuses do you Fury fans got for this now? Because it just seems like every move that this dope fiend makes that Fury fans got an excuse for this dude. Him coming over and running off of this moral victory and playing the mental health victim card. And no, this dude lost his titles because he had a drug problem. And he failed because he took drugs. Deontay Wilder has never taken any drugs or failed any drug tests. But people want to continue to shit on this man and discredit him when he goes in a ring and knocks out every motherfucker that stands in front of him. It don't matter who they put in front of him. But y'all want to discredit him, discredit his resume. But Fury's go is okay to go on tune-up tours and fighting dudes that we know that he's able to beat. But nobody says anything about that. It's a double standard in America. And it's really just shameful that American sports fans will be willing to go against their one of their own. Someone that's from this country. And you'll pick somebody from a different country over your own countrymen. This is why I can't wait for Tyson Fury to get knocked the fuck out. But I want to know what y'all think. Leave your comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Sam Mac Boxing TV. Peace.